Welcome back to Business Breakfast and Bedhead. I actually do these live calls on Instagram. I would love for you to come and hang out with me at them. So if you don't already follow me at Don Bradley, D-A-W-N-B-R-A-D-L-E-Y, I should have made a song about that. Go follow me there because then you can take part in these live calls and can actually chat with me. But if you can't make them, no sweat. Now they're going to be here. So welcome to Business Breakfast and Bedhead. Buckle up, friend, and let's dive in. I overthink, I overshare, and I overanalyze. So come explore with me as I chat about business, life, and relationships all through the lens of an anxious creative. Morning and welcome to Business Breakfast in Bedhead. I'm so excited that you're here. Today we're going to talk about the key factors in building your clientele because right now we are talking about getting clients in the door. You don't have a business if you don't have clients coming in. And so this is so important. And if you didn't know already, I go live here weekday mornings to chat with you about life, business, and building your bank account. Because at the end of the day, we are in the business to create revenue for ourselves, even though you do do it not because of the money. You need people coming in and paying. It doesn't matter how good your policies are. It doesn't matter, even though I teach policies, even though I teach boundaries, even though I teach communication, if you don't have, hi Annette, if you don't have people coming in the door, if you don't have clients coming in, it doesn't matter, you need people coming in and paying you and so today we're going to go over the key factors to building your clientele with my action method you guys know i love a good what's it called when you do use the word and then you have words for each letter of the word why can't i think of that acronym is it called an acronym so hi rachel hi oh the main babe i was listening to the podcast this morning oh i love it okay so we're going to be going through my action method for building your clientele. These are gonna be the key factors that you need. And so if you're excited about this, put an emoji in the chat because here's the thing, I don't wanna be someone talking on a screen at you, I wanna be talking with you. I I go live to build community and build connection. It's actually proven neurologically that the more you participate in these chats, hi Kendra, the more you participate in these chats, the more you gain from them and the more your brain actually remembers. What is on my hat here? Hello, Burgundy, and so I'm really excited to, I love the emojis this morning, I'm really excited. First and foremost, I want you guys to know that this is a safe space and a judgment-free zone. It's really important for me to be able to show up real, raw, honest, and vulnerable with you today. And you giving me a one in the chat lets me know that you're willing to be a safe space and a judgment-free zone for me and also for yourself and for everybody else that's in this room with us. So go ahead and put a one in the chat if you're willing to commit to this being a safe space and a judgment-free zone. We're all in different paths, we're all in different parts of our journey whether you're building clientele for the first time or whether you're rebuilding your clientele and you're feeling a little embarrassed or ashamed or humiliated that at this stage of your career that you're having to ask new clients to come in and you're like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm losing clients. Or maybe you're coming back from a maternity leave or maybe you're coming back, you're moving to a new city like I did and you're like, I feel embarrassed that I have to ask for new clients. This is beyond me. I'm above this. And there's maybe this superiority, superiority complex or your ego is being like, you shouldn't have to ask for new clients. You're like five years in or 10 years in or 20 years in. And this is kind of embarrassing and it's keeping this like little nagging voice in the back of your head keeping you playing small I just came back from maternity leave and needing to rebuild my clientele so excited I love it so let's go over the action is it called an acronym am I right with this I'm not sure and I'm gonna see um, if any of my tried and true people want to come live with me Rach do you want to go live with me sometimes it's just fun If you're ready, yes, I love this. If you're ready, put a, put a two in the chat if you wanna hear my action method to building your clientele acronym. Thanks, Rach. To building your clientele because I freaking love this. You guys know I love acronyms. I've got my care method to building your clientele. I've got my lazy method to maintaining your clients. I have it on my whiteboard behind me. I also have my sales method to making more money. They are killer. Oh, you can't right now, that's okay. Okay, so here it is. Let's get to it. This is gonna be a quick and easy. And if you guys didn't know, right now I'm promoting my Client Magnet Live Container. So a lot of you guys have the Client Building Bundle or you have Rocker Business. And my Client Magnet Live Container is going to be live calls hosted next week. And even if you can't make them live, you can submit your questions ahead of time where I get my eyes on your business and I'm gonna go through exactly, break it down, how to get clients back in your chair, how to build your clientele without coming across as desperate, without coming across embarrassingly. So if you guys are interested in the client magnet, um, you can 
shoot me a DM saying the client magnet or in my highlights, you can click on that. And the early bird price is still going on. I'm doing this as a live container this time. So this is something you don't want to miss out on. Um, it's going to go to recorded videos after this. So you definitely don't want to miss out on the live container and getting my eyeballs on your business and getting my direct feedback. Okay, let's get into it. The action method for building a clientele. These are the key factors that you need. Starting with A, you need to acknowledge where you're at right now. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge that you don't have enough clients, you're not making enough money, and you gotta do something about it. And then C, you need to have compassion for yourself and where you're at. Maybe you're coming back from maternity leave. Maybe you're needing to rebuild because you things have just gone stale or you were had some time where you weren't focusing on your business as much and you're needing to focus on your personal life and your business has kind of gone down. You need to come back. You need to have acknowledge and then have compassion for where you're at and be okay to be a beginner again. Then the T of action is tackle the problem. Hey, Dave. So acknowledge, compassion, have compassion, and then tackle it head on. Don't dance around it, don't avoid it, you need to tackle it. Which brings us to the eye of action, which is get inspired. Find somebody who you relate to that you enjoy, that makes it fun and be inspired by them and what they've done and how they teach you. My clients are retiring and stretching out their appointments, yeah. And then the O is stay optimistic. You need to stay optimistic about the outcome. And then the N, is navigate the outcome. And so here's the thing, what a lot of people do is they acknowledge, they have compassion, they tackle it, they stay inspired, they get inspired, they stay optimistic, and then it doesn't work out how they want, and they go, oh, well, that didn't work, and then they walk away from it. No, what you have to do is navigate the outcome and go, how can I, what can I tweak one little thing and see if I change something? So I see people being like, well, I'm doing all the right things, and I'm, do, I'm going out, I'm handing out discounts, and nobody's coming in. Well, maybe discounts aren't the way to get clients in. Maybe the way you're communicating with people isn't sharing the value of what you do. And so if you're going through the motions and doing all the right things, but not getting the results that you're hoping for, then that's the definition of insanity, right? And so you need to go, what's one thing, instead of trying to redo everything, which is what a lot of times we do, is go, well, that didn't work, and you redo everything. And then you don't know if it was just one little factor in what you were doing. Maybe it's how you're talking to people. And my care method of getting a new client talks about leading with a compliment right? Maybe you need to stop being so like pushy, not pushy, but like if you're coming in too hot being like, hey, I'm so-and-so and I do this service and here's 20% off, it might feel a little bit too abrasive to people. And so just change one thing. That's the end. Navigate the outcome and then go through it all again. Okay. So that last time it didn't work. I'm going to change one thing about it. I'm going to go do it again. I'm going to acknowledge. I'm going to have compassion. I'm going to tackle it. I'm going to get inspired. I'm going to stay optimistic and then I'm going to navigate the outcome. If this is helpful, put a one in the chat. Let me know. Because I want to be able to help you guys get fully booked. And a lot of it is you're keeping yourself stuck in the planning. You're not taking responsibility over where you're at. Doesn't mean it's your fault, but you need to take wild responsibility. Okay, I love this. One, one, one. Yes, I love it. And so if you guys want to attend my Client Magnet Live workshop, one for RYB members. If you're if you're an RYB, hit me up in the DMs. I have special rates just for people in RYB, and there's early bird pricing going on right now for the rest of you. Getting over my pride and building again is tough. The main babe, I feel you. I still struggle with this. We get to places where we think, okay, now I'm here and I've achieved this, and our ego tells us you're too good for that thing. You're too good for that thing, which is bullshit. We're all on the same level no matter where you're at in your success journey. Pride is a sneaky little bitch. And it makes you go, I'm humble. I'm, I'm insecure. I'm shy. When really it's your ego being like, you're too good. You don't need to do that. Oh my gosh, you don't want to come across as desperate. Oh, that's so, that's a little too eager. What's it called? Um, a, it's like girls who, they, they tell, I've like seen this online about like girls who are like too eager to date somebody. Do you know what I'm talking about? I can't think of a name. It's bringing out lack of confidence. Yeah, like I don't have enough. When I have this, then I will. If I could just be as confident as that person, well, guess what? Confidence is born from courage and vulnerability. So the more courageous you are and the more vulnerable you are, the more confidence you will build. This is why going live for me ain't no thing, right? But I have other areas of my life where I have let my confidence lack. I haven't been as courageous and vulnerable. Clingy, yeah. 
you don't come across as clingy or desperate, right? And so in the client magnet live container, it's gonna be a small group container where I'm gonna, oh yeah, the pick me, that's it, that's it. Pick me energy, <laughs> love it. Um, you don't want the pick me energy, right? You don't want the clingy or the desperate. You wanna become a client magnet, which means you have a magnetism towards you where people are drawn to you because of what you offer and you're not having to do pick me energy. Got it? Does that work? Does that work with that? Um, okay, that's totally what I was thinking. I love it. So I'm really excited for this live container. It's going to be live calls. I think I set it as three calls, but I think I'm going to do more than that because I feel like this action plan, acknowledge, compassion, tackle, inspire, optimistic, and navigate the outcome is going to go deeper. And so my goal is to get you fully booked in the fall. Now I can't do it for you. You have to do it for you. And I'm keeping this container really affordable so that you can, I mean, here's at the end of the day, what do you guys charge for one of your services? Put it, put it in the comments. And if, you're ha if you have space for, say, three new clients a week, it probably is only, the, the cost of this container is probably the cost of maybe one or two new clients. And it's going to, as long as you're ready to do the work and take wild responsibility over your life and your business and your bank account, yeah, $125 an hour, $85, Kendra, 45 Ash and Nails. So it's like 210, right? Burgundy, your business is like booming and I freaking am here for it. And so if joining the client, getting in on the early bird price for the client magnet live container is with the prices here is maybe one to two, one to three new clients. Now, at the end of the day, those clients are going to become returning clients and they're going to refer people with the client magnetism that you create. And so investing in yourself, I mean, I can't, I will never tell you to spend money and invest money. I don't know your current, um, financial places but if you're stuck in well when i get new clients then i will invest or when i have the money then i'll invest you have to ask yourself and i'm saying this to myself as well right now is like it's like you got, sometimes you got to spend money to make money and only you know the answer i will never push or prod but right now the early bird price is 166 and for ryb students you guys get an even better deal because you've already invested in the education and so dm me if you want to get the, the rock your business deal but this small group is going to be amazing we're going to stick together we're going to have a private facebook group where we're going to connect and then we're going to go through the live calls and we're going to make sure that all your questions are answered and that your pride is not controlling you because that pride is a sneaky bitch and you don't, and you're not going to come across with pick me energy. You're not going to come across clingy, pushy, slimy, salesy. You're going to create magnetism towards you and your offer, making people drawn to you. And you're not going to be scared to communicate with people in a confident, but not cocky manner about your business, about your offers. And the way that you're going to proposition people to come to your business, isn't going to come across as pushy, slimy, clingy, salesy, or pick me energy. If you're here for this, put a one in the chat. Cause I'm curious who's interested in this. I'm really excited. I haven't done a live container on a really specific topic. I generally in the passage and live containers for my rock your business, which include client attraction, finances, boundaries, communication. But this one, we're going to go really deep instead of going wide, instead of going on a lot of different topics, we're going to go really deep on building your clientele, getting the right people in, having the right energy about it. Cause it's really important to me that if you can't build your clientele, if you don't know how to talk confidently about your business, if you don't know how to draw people in, I don't care how good your policies, how good your boundaries, how good your communication, how good your finances are, because you won't have any finances cause you won't have anyone booking in and paying you. Right. And so it's really important to go deep. And this is why I'm switching up the way I'm offering my, my services for you guys is because I want to be able to go really deep on each topic. And I want to really create these containers where it's deep and wide. And so that you feel really, really confident and secure in your client magnetism and how you draw people in rather than just having like one week of and one call on this one topic. Are you guys here for it? I love it. And so I'm going to say this again, the action method for creating and building your clientele. These are the key factors you need to create is you need to acknowledge where you're at, have compassion for where you're at, tackle the problem head on, get inspired, stay optimistic, and then navigate the outcome. Boundaries are feeling strong these days, Kendra. I love it. Here for it, Burgundy. Yeah, I love it. And so if you guys are interested in joining the Client Magnet Live container, there is a highlight on my, when you go to my profile, those little like circles at the top, 
It says get clients. I don't know if you can see it completely. Tap on that, tap all the way through. Early bird is still open for a couple more days. I want you to get on the early bird. I mean, it's worth the full price, 100%. But I mean, who doesn't want a good early bird? Who doesn't want to get the benefit and get a, 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 a gift, I guess would say, for taking action. I reward taking messy, immediate, imperfect action. I reward people who start before they know they're ready. I reward people for getting out of procrastinate planning and into I'm gonna show up messy and I'm gonna jump before I know how to land. This is how I have operated my business always. I can so easily get into procrastinate planning instead of jumping in and taking messy, immediate, imperfect action. And every time I have jumped in and taken messy, immediate, imperfect action and like, I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in, that, that kind of energy, it has always worked out for me. The moment I sit and I plan and I pre-plan and I reorganize and I do all this, it's when I get stuck in analysis paralysis. And I know you're stuck there too. And so we're gonna take messy, immediate, imperfect action together. And I want you to join the Client Magnet Workshop container today because I only have limited spots and I want you to get in on it. And if you're an RYB, shoot me a DM and I'll get you the special link for your special uh, price. But I'm really, really excited about this because client building, I, I don't know if you know, but I built my full clientele went from zero clients in a city where I knew no one to fully booked in under 12 weeks from the basement of my suburban rental charging downtown city prices. And it's not that I was the most talented and most skilled. It's not that I had things figured out. It's that I knew a system to do and I knew how to talk to people. I knew how to create magnetism. I wasn't having to go convince people to book in with me. I knew how to create magnetism towards me. I knew how to talk about my business that made people, I didn't have to ask people to book in, they wanted to. I knew how to create that, that magnetism. And so I'm really excited to share the Client Magnet Workshop live with you. And I want you there for it. I want you in it. I don't want you to miss out on it. And I want you to be able to be there live during this first time when I do it live so that you can get your questions answered. I can get my eyes on your business. And I still have a couple spots for those of you guys that didn't know. Um, the first 10 people get a free 90 minute one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me on your business. I still have a couple spots left. So if you go join right away, you'll snag up one of those couple spots of the free 90 minute one-on-one um, -on -one calls with me. So I'm really excited. But like I said, the key factors to building your clientele is taking action. And action is acknowledging where you are, having compassion for, for, for it, tackling the problem, getting inspired, staying optimistic, optimistic, and navigating the outcome. Action, acronym. Love it. Here for it. Questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. I'm joining. Yes, Burgundy. I love it. I love that energy. That this is case in point. This is the kind of person that I want to join. Isn't overthinking it. Isn't over planning it. I mean, and here's the thing. I don't want you guys to jump into things blindly. Burgundy has been in my world for a minute. She knows me. She trusts me. She's taken my education before. I would never, ever tell somebody to just blindly follow me. Please don't actually be wise. Do your research. Right. I want you like, I mean, Kendra and I have talked and we've had really good conversations. If you relate to my struggle, small town, anxious, awkward girl, didn't think that success was cut out for me, thought it was for someone else. Have a history of really bad romantic relationships in my past because I was a people pleaser, didn't know how to say no, and I found my worth, I put my worth in the hands of everyone else, including my clients, my relationships, and my friends. I didn't think that I was worthy, so I overgave, I overpromised, I over, I, I would under deliver, I would defer disappointment, and then it would disappoint people more, and I completely burnt out. On August 30th, 2016, I was in the hospital thinking I was dying of a stroke. My, I couldn't breathe, my arms were stiff and numb, and I thought, this is it. And the, that night, thinking I was taking my last breath, I was thinking about work. And I was thinking, I've got to cancel this class in Portland. I'm going I'm to bail on this class I'm supposed to do in LA, and I'm just going to refund everybody's tickets. I'm going to live in the interior of BC and live off the land. I'm the least domestic person you guys will ever meet. I can't cook to save my life, so that would last like half a day. But I was like, I'm going to get rid of social media. I'm going to go offline. I'm going to go off grid. I'm just going to live off the land. I can't do this. I can't. The hustle, the keeping up, the comparison, like it's just too much. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's what I was thinking about when I thought I was going to die. Thinking about work. I was placing so much of my worth in the hands of my clients, in the hands of my relationship, in the hands of what I thought people thought of me. I was so concerned with keeping up a facade of an appearance so that I would be liked because I was really scared at the core of it that I wasn't worthy of being loved and liked and successful. And so if you can relate to that, then you're going to love the client magnet. And if you're needing to build your clientele, if you're needing to get more clients in, if you're not in the place that you know you should be at, like I said, I've gone, this is like a, a module inside of my Rocker Business Program 
that I am taking on and going deeper and wider on because this is so important. It's so much more than just getting clients. There is, if we peel back the layers, there is underneath a core issue of you not feeling worthy of having the success you crave. And so in the Client Magnet Live workshop, we're gonna, yes, go over strategies, tactics, and how to create magnetism from clients. But first we're gonna work through the core of why you don't feel worthy of it and how to develop that worthiness so that you don't end up in the hospital thinking you're dying of a stroke like I did. I threw up every 20 minutes for six hours to the point where it was just stomach bile. The pain that my body was going through, I would wish that on no one. It was the scariest night of my life. And the fact that I thought I was dying and I was gonna take my last breath and I was thinking about work, not about my family, not about my dog at the time, I was thinking about work because my whole identity, my whole worth, my whole viewpoint of my life Life was based on how happy can I make other people because if other people are happy with me then maybe I can be happy with myself if other people think I'm worthy then maybe finally I'll believe that I'm worthy and I lived for that that moment where someone told me oh my god Don you're the best and I'm like oh I am and I feel good for like half a second and then I crave more of it because I truly didn't believe I was worthy of it so I kept outsourcing my worth and my value and my identity to how happy I could make other people and that is when you end up with the clingy the desperate the pick me energy that actually deters new clients away. And so we're gonna create a magnetism towards your business when you understand your power and you're not coming across with a fake confidence that comes across as cocky, but you're coming in uh, across with a true confidence which is born from courage and vulnerability, showing up real raw, honest and vulnerable, talking confidently with courage and vulnerability about your business. So confidently about your business doesn't mean I'm the best and you're gonna love it. Confidently is I'm really skilled and talented. And right now I have openings in my schedule, which I'm really excited to share with you because I want you to be able to get in and you don't have to book out as far in advance as you once had to. Hearing that you wouldn't think, oh my gosh, she's so desperate or like, why isn't she fully booked? I'm just talking confidently, factually, vulnerably and courageously. But a lot of times we're so scared of what people are gonna think that we over, um, What's the word I'm looking for? We overcompensate and going like, hey, oh my gosh, like I have openings in my schedule. And like, I mean, I don't know why I have opening in my schedule and I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But like, if you want to get in, you could book in. There's a difference between like, like yeah, I, book, I, I have uh, like book in this week, I have openings. And oh, I don't know why I have openings. This isn't, this isn't normally, it's not normally like this. I don't really know why I have openings, but like, if you want to get in, you can. Like I have these openings and I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm really good, I promise. As opposed to, oh my gosh, it's your lucky day. I have some last minute openings that have come up and this doesn't happen very often. This has been happening a little bit more lately and I'm really excited because that means you don't have to book out so far in advance. And I know you're a last minute person and I know you're so excited because now you can get in and maybe you've been wanting to book in for an appointment and you just couldn't book it. You couldn't seem to get ahead of your schedule. Well, it's your lucky day. I have openings this week and next week book in now because you are going to love it. Confidence overcompensating or cockiness would be like, I'm a shit. You should come in. You're lucky that this is open. So many people are scared as scared as coming across as cocky that they don't know how to speak confidently that they overcompensate and come across as desperate. Make sense? You love my verbal examples. Thanks, Kendra. So you're so scared of coming across as cocky that you don't know how to show up confidently that you come across you overcompensate and come across as pick me energy. So if you want to get rid of that and you want to be able to dive into your power step into your bigness you know you're made for more you know you have the capability capability is not a question you know you're capable of the things you want to achieve you're just struggling to take the first step you're standing at the bottom of a staircase hoping to get at the top in one big swoop or waiting for something to magically float you to the top because then when you're there then you will when i'm there then i will and then i could and i know i can but the reality is you have to take one step at a time and that feels too insignificant or it kind of seems below you well, you only get up a staircase one step at a time. Humble yourself, get over yourself. And I know that's hard because a lot of us are actually deeply insecure. And the reality that insecurity is born out of ego, it's your ego telling you to be insecure. And so the most egotistical thing you can do, the most cocky thing you can do is stay insecure. Ooh, ouch, ooh, that's not what I wanted to hear of myself either. The most cocky thing you can do is continue to convince yourself you're too insecure to do something. If that stung a little bit, but also rang true, put a one in the chat. I know, tough love with Dawn ain't always the easiest pill to swallow, but I promise you when you admit this to yourself, when you acknowledge where you're at, when you have compassion for where you're at, when you tackle the problem, you get tackle the problem, you stay inspired, you stay optimistic, and you navigate the 
ACOM, the action method. Did you hear that? That was the acronym. Acknowledge, compassion, tackle, inspire, optimistic, and navigate the outcome. Your life and your business will wildly change. Yeah, Kendra won. I love it. I love it. So I, I want you to know that you are invited to the client magnet. If you're ready to take messy, immediate, imperfect action and take responsibility over your life and your future, you are invited. It's happening next week and it's going to be so free good and like I mean people are going to transform their business and fill their schedules up with the best clients ever and it's going to be so freaking good I cannot wait this is being delivered live this first time so you want to get in on it I know we're all like burnt out of like online stuff I ideally I would love for you guys all to come over to my house and we hang in the living room with my puppies in our PJs and do it and I mean that would be ideal but the second best is live calls. So you don't have to watch pre-recorded stuff, but you will get the recordings. So it's going to be so freaking good. Please do not miss out on this. And it, like, I mean, if money is an issue, keyword best clients, quality clients. Yeah, Kendra, right? How do I join? So I should have an easy way for you to join. And I don't. Isn't that funny? Because I myself is taking, am taking messy, immediate, and perfect action. Um, Sandy, is it Sandy? If you go to my highlight, you can DM me the client magnet. I'll send you the link because the early bird pricing is on right now. Also in my highlights, when you go to my profile, the little circles at the top, there's a get clients one, tap on that. And the early bird pricing is still in there. Uh, you guys are not going to regret this. It's going to be so freaking bomb. Like I said, I built and rebuilt my clientele six times on three, three different continents. Most recently, I moved to a city where I knew no one. And within 12 weeks from my basement rental charging high end prices, I was fully booked. My podcast name is The Anxious Creative, and I put these lives on there so you can re-listen to these anytime you want. So if you're listening to this on the podcast, come on over to IG at Don Bradley and shoot me a DM. But I want to help you guys. Honestly, building a clientele is my jam. It's my thing. I'm weirdly good at it. It's like a hidden talent that I didn't know I had for the longest time. I didn't know people struggled with building a clientele the same way or in a different way that I did. And so I'm really excited to bestow upon you my wisdom, my knowledge. But here's, here's the thing. At the end of the day, you got to take messy, immediate, and perfect action. I can't do it for you. I wish I could. I wish by paying and joining and signing up, you magically would get fully booked. That ain't how it works. And I know that you have like a digital bookshelf collecting dust with a whole bunch of courses and programs that you've bought before that sucks and I do too and that's why I've designed my education very differently than the rest of the online education out there where it's not about learning it's about implementing because I know you're addicted to learning and allergic to implementing so it's time to take wild responsibility over your life future life in your future and take messy immediate and perfect action if you feel a gut pull towards this please just take take the step I know it's scary sometimes to invest in yourself because it's like the outcome. It's not like going and buying a purse and like you spend the money and all of a sudden you have this new purse. When you're investing in your business and your future, you go and spend the money and then you got to show up for you. It's not as exciting. And I know, I know, I know it's not as exciting. It's like going and buying a new purse, but the return on investment, meaning when you show up for yourself, when you invest in yourself and your business, and then you do the work, of implementation, not learning, but implementation. You gotta get out of learning, you gotta get into implementing. When you do the work of implementing, the return will be so, I wanna say tenfold, but the return will be so greater that you can go buy those purses with the money that you make, right? You gotta start viewing your income and your revenue differently if you wanna be wildly successful. So if you're interested in the client magnet, you can click the link in my highlights on my page, shoot me a DM saying client magnet, let's get you in today so you don't miss out. Also, if you're anything like me, you'll be like, oh, I'll join later. And then you'll forget. And then like next week, you'll realize it's too late. I don't want you to regret not joining. Okay. So shoot me a DM or click the link in my highlights. Join the client magnet live container. It's going to be so freaking good. The people that are in it already are great. The spots for the free strategy session might be gone already. If you want to get in, I said the first 10 people are going to get a one-on-one -on -one free strategy call of me with you on your business. They might all be gone. If you want to snag one of them, go join right now. Um, you know, if you if we go above the 10 from this live call, I will honor that. I know there's just a couple spots left. If you're after this live, unsure, shoot me a DM and we'll figure it out. Okay. I love you guys. Until next time, stay weird. Gotta go. Love you. Have a good day. Yep. Yeah. Bye, Kendra. Okay. Bye all.
Thank you so much for listening to the podcast and for tuning into Business Breakfast and Bedhead. Like I said, I would love for you to join me live on these over on Instagram. So once again, just look up Don Bradley and let's connect. Shoot me a DM, send me a screenshot, tag me in your stories of listening to this or what you took away from this. Those comments, that feedback really makes my day and helps me know that these things are landing and that you want to hear more. I do these lives and I do this podcast for you to help you and your feedback means the world to me. And if you enjoyed this episode, help me spread the love, share it with a friend, a coworker, family member, or leave a review and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. Thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next time. Until then, friend, stay weird.